of a present. Welcome to Wednesday, welcome to a new week, welcome to the start of, I would imagine, at least a few weeks, if not a few months, of a lot of activity. Paddy's day is just gone. Tomorrow is my birthday. Better not do that. Tomorrow is my birthday. <laughs> Where was I? That's Thursday. Friday, we have the fitness fundraiser. Saturday, a young guy called Luca Veras, who is a new CNK sponsored athlete, will be competing at the Pan Ams. He's in the juvenile blue belt heavy division. He's number one seed in the division. His brother, Luan Veras, who is how I found out about the three brothers. Luan won purple belt adult lightweight at the Euros this year. I spoke to his dad that evening and tried to come up with some sort of a deal to uh, I spoke about this before and I'm finally kind of speaking with these guys we were kind of working out a few things and then he came back to me the next day he said look a couple of big brands have been in touch with Luan so we're gonna park that and, and he'll probably speak to those he ended up signing with show your old so congratulations Luan that's a great deal very very happy for you he's also competing in the Pan Ams this weekend they have another brother in between the two of them called Liam who is injured at the moment and isn't competing at Pan Ams but is a new coffee camera sponsor athlete also Skipping past Sunday, in probably two to three weeks, I'm going to be flying over to Luxembourg to go and meet the guys, train with them, do a bit of a shoot with them. Looking forward to that. I have mentioned that previously, so that's that. On Sunday then, this Sunday, Austin Daffron is competing in combat jiu-jitsu in Mexico. He flew out there yesterday, I think. Yeah, out there for another go of combat jiu-jitsu. He's, he's been on that show before and got past the first round the last time. So, is it 16 or 8? I'm not sure. Anyway, he's in that this Sunday in a nice new custom coffee and cameras outfit. Uh, outfit, rash garden shorts, so that's exciting. And then in two weeks time, Decky's fighting the Gaze But anyway, in the meantime, that's what's happening this week. In the last couple of days, yesterday was uh, Monday was a bank holiday, day after Paddy's day. I don't work in a bank, but I didn't really do any work. I did a little bit of planning Monday evening to set up my week. That was about it. And then Tuesday was, uh, yeah, we are in the office, a couple of meetings, getting things ready for Friday, which is going to be a long day. It's going to be a fun day. And I may have to run away to keep an eye on the pouring of my foundations, but that's going to be a convenient time. And I would imagine at some stage during the day to give me a break from all this cycling and skiing and rowing. If you haven't seen what it is, it is it's daffodil day so it's raising money for the irish cancer society it happens every march and we are doing a fitness fundraiser keeping a bike erg a ski erg and a row erg bike row and ski erg and maybe a second bike running all day from 20 past 8 in the morning till 20 past 8 at night so 8 20 to 8 20 and we're hoping to rack up 820 kilometers and then we're gonna we have obviously a number of sponsors and things as well who are giving us money towards it and then we're gonna put a couple of euro for every kilometer we raise towards the irish cancer society i think we agreed on four your own. Anyway, we'll see how it works out. That's the plan for the week. Tomorrow morning, actually, we have a, a business breakfast for a local politician, John McGahan, who is running for government this year. A guy that I, we know quite well. I would have played rugby with him when we were young, and his brother is my jiu-jitsu coach. All right, I'm going to go and do some work now, and I'll see you later on. Call time with a potential lead. Or with a lead. Hey, guys. <whistles> Uh, I think you might be on mute. Sorry, Chris. There you go. Um, so I'm... Nice to meet you. And this... Hi, guys. Lovely to meet you. I think, was I speaking to you before? At the... What was it? SFA. The, the SFA event. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you keeping? I'm great. See how I remember you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a while ago now. That, that's probably two years ago, is it? Three years. Yeah. Three years, I think, 2021. Three was years, it? is it? I think so, yeah. yeah. Could be. It could be, yeah. Um, time's like, fine. I just knew that you guys are based in Dundalk. So I had to actually go back to the awards and read the Irish Independent article and um, write down through it to see who are all the companies and that's them. Well, I appreciate the digging you have to do to find us. I was ho go. hoping we'd be a bit more visible than that, but... <laughs> I just couldn't remember. So. Yeah, no, that's all right. Um, no, thanks for reaching out. No bother. How have you been getting on for the last couple of years? Good, you know, good. Obviously, COVID was really, really good to us, you know, mm -hmm. then... Is that's exactly our kind of wheelhouse let's say you give me access to the clavio account and i did a bit of a, a quick audit on it let's say um i wouldn't call it an audit i suppose i just kind of had a flick around the account and, and tried to spot a few things it's the setup a mess. i wouldn't call it a mess no i, oh, I think good. it's it's um 
the setup is started, let's say, but there's okay. a lot there that, that could be tweaked, could be refined, added to, enhanced. I have a list of things here in front of me, but uh, okay. I, I won't, I won't, I wouldn't say it depress you, but I won't uh, go through it in too much detail. But the overview of it is that firstly, you're paying too much for your subscription because there's about eight and a half thousand suppressed profiles, which are bringing you up a couple of tiers. So Clavio's pricing structure is based on the number of active profiles you have subscribed. So instantly you're paying, I think maybe 75 to hundred dollars a month more than you need to, whatever that that's one thing. The attribution in terms of campaigns versus flows so the flows aren't really the campaigns seem to be doing okay and well you're, you're sending out a lot of campaigns which is good the frequency is very good there's a low unsubscribe bounce and spam rate which is good there's also a low open and click rate though so the engaged audience isn't great in terms of then the attribution of campaigns to flows it should be somewhere in the 40 to 60 50 50 type range it's 90 to 95 percent campaigns because the flows that you have, let's say the welcome flow as a, a guide, a welcome flow should be anywhere between minimum four to five emails up to maybe 15, depending on the brand. There's only one in yours and it's not even sending at the minute. There's a couple of things like that. There's a few, the abandoned card emails aren't actually sending. I'm not sure why I didn't dig into too much detail of why that is. Uh, well, I'll just have a quick reference here to browse abandonment path. So that'd be like a step back from the abandoned cart. So before someone actually she adds the cart to view the product. There is a flow there for that, but the timing is a little bit, the timing's the wrong way around, essentially. The win back flow, so uh, like I don't know what the timing is, but it's a couple of months after someone orders, you're giving them a discount straight away, which is uh, better to kind of prime them up before kind of giving discounts and things like that. And yeah, look, there's a few things like that. The, the pop-ups aren't exactly optimized. Could probably do just a, a refresh as well, but I would imagine that that is all things that you probably would have looked at anyway once the website was done. So I would say that there's a lot of stuff here that was probably put a little bit in the back burner that would have been revisited anyway. And obviously, look, going into administration or whatever, going out of business, has probably thrown everything for a bit of a curve. Oh, yeah, but for refocus. Look, it, there's, I would say that there's a lot of low hanging fruit there that you can pick at and, and get a good result quite quickly. And then like, let's say, implement some changes quite quickly that should give you a good return and then work on a kind of longer stra longer term strategy to, to enhance everything then based off the back of that. The one thing I would say though is that I probably would focus on the website and trying to get that sorted first. Buy from us. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay, right. thank you so much, Chris. Good no to problem. To nice to see you again. Right. Have a good Take day, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Nice bit of inside info on some competitors in the industry. Interesting. All right. That makes me happy. Our competitors are dropping the ball. Very good. Very, very good. All right. Debrief the team on that interesting info. Good morning. It's my birthday. I don't feel any older or any wiser. I do feel older because I'm sore all the time and I'm going gray. I'm gone gray. I'm almost there. Anyway, I digress. I have uh, an unusual day ahead of me. I was actually supposed to be at, I think I said this yesterday, I was supposed to be at a business breakfast morning in the next half an hour, but it turns out yesterday evening after being on site and seeing how things are progressing, that we hit some rock. We might need to move things around a little bit and the guy who's marking the foundations is gonna be here this morning, so I need to be here. So I'm gonna be doing a bit of work here, run down there, see what's going on, run back up here, do some more work, run back down there. I'm probably gonna be up and down here for a while today and that's how I'm gonna spend my birthday. All good though. I'm, I just want to get the house built. To be honest, I don't really care about birthdays anymore. I'm past it. I'm 32 now, like, what difference does it make? <laughs> it's just another f***ing year, isn't it? So, it's like my flowery mug. I like these mugs. I also like the coffee, oil coffee. I just checked the tracking, and today we're getting the co new coffee and commerce finger tape. And I should have checked to see what video I spoke about that in, but it was one of the first videos. It might have been like episode three or something. And now we're on episode 40, 44. Well, it's not that it's taking a long time. I just put it on hold for a while. But now that we're getting the geese coming in, glad to be having those coming. I've also just paid a small import charge on the new packaging. Not new packaging, but a restock of the packaging for the, well, new packaging, I suppose, because it's bigger for the hoodies. And then a restock of the kind of smaller product packaging, like these things for the new t-shirts, which are almost ready. I'm gonna have to go to the print shop today, actually, and pick up the t-shirts for the fundraiser tomorrow, the Zoma Daffodil Day fundraiser. And I'm hoping that I might be able to get some, at least the anti-caffeine combat club 
Leisureware of the print shop. I think they're all done. So I'll try and pick those up so I can start barcoding and packing those and having those ready to go to the warehouse. Because yesterday I did a little bit more work on the copying Khmer's site around copy and text. That's starting to come together. There's some coding elements that we're gonna work on next week. And will we launch a new website at the end of next week? Maybe. Might launch it at the end of next week, depending on how we go. Probably wait till the week after, because I think the keys might be here by then. So yeah, just trying to get everything to mesh together and line up. I have to get stuff sent out to athletes and organize those video shoots and stuff as well. But we'll get that content added in over time. I kind of just want to get the new site live, get the new products live. All the Nogi gear that we've had since January, get those live. Shorts, actually. I need to get an update on those. Uh, the remake of the shorts. It's gone very quiet from that supplier for some reason. I don't like that. And yeah, that's the plan. Then tomorrow, I'm gonna be in and out of the office, doing the fundraiser, doing a few stints on the bike, on the row, and the ski, and then checking on the pour of my foundations. I'll probably be here most of the morning. I'll go in in the morning and do a stint, and then come back out here and then head back in. All over the place this week. Absolutely all over the place. Hence why last week's video was this week's video hasn't been great so far, but hopefully it picks up tomorrow. Tomorrow should be fun. We'll get plenty of footage of that that I'll add in as well. So yeah, all good. And then, then we have a lot of activity over the next few weeks with coffee and tomorrow's. So it's all good. All right, time to enjoy a birthday spent between a laptop and a mucky field. Although it's not that mucky. Although it might be today because it rained a little bit last night. But anyway, all right, see you later. Bye. Just realized it didn't turn the light on behind me. So usually I'm on. Probably quite dark. That would have been better, wouldn't it? Yeah. We have a present from the UPS man. Where's my knife? I'm out of breath. I've been down on the site marking foundations. Not marking foundations, I wasn't doing anything, but keeping an eye on things. And the foundations are being dug this afternoon. It's lunchtime now, by the way. One o'clock on the money, actually. And in the meantime, while I was doing that, this arrived, and this should be finger tape. Ta-da! the right way up. Yes, there's the camera. There you go. Very nice. Happy with that. Stand here to reorder for that repeat purchase. Shout out to average order value. Not average order value. Customer lifetime value. Well, average order value as well. Three rolls per tin. One, two, three. Happy days. Very happy with that. That is something I've been planning and thinking about for a long time. And now it's here. Did a little bit more work on the Coffin Corners website this morning. Need to get product pictures of these done. Need to get product pictures of all the other stuff done. More stuff that's coming. Definitely product pictures done. And then get some lifestyle imagery, gym imagery. It's my hair all over the place, probably. It's a windy day. Yeah, need to get all that product imagery done up onto the website. But for now, pop that back in there. Pop this on the ground somewhere. Not much space. And now I have to go to a few different places. I have to go get t-shirts for tomorrow for Daffodil Day. They're printed and ready to go. Pull up banners are printed and ready to go. Banners for the front of the hoarding in front of us. They're ready to go, we need to collect those. And then I need to go and get a couple of supplies for the lads so that they can prep the foundations for the concrete pour, which hopefully will happen. hopefully happen tomorrow. That's a very scattered clip. All right, see you later, bye. dashing visit to the office but oh camera come down there we go there's a rower and a bike ready to go <laughs> there's Ewan ready to go here are some t-shirts ready to go thanks Ewan I designed them so we have men's and women's first come first serve getting a picture for the socials now I have to leave again see you later Ewan <laughs> back out the road to see how the dig is going Oh yeah, out here actually. We have some, I need to get better at controlling this camera. Some barriers. With the banners that I picked up earlier. Hopefully the weather's a bit better tomorrow than it is today. Eesh. Friday morning. Everything was a bit rushed this morning, but we're here. Almost set up. It is 
six. We're starting in a few minutes. I need to get better at controlling this camera. Jeez, right. I need to pop up some pop-ups, hang up some balloons, and then we're nearly ready. Ready to go. Len, give us a cheer. Give us a cheer. <laughs> the time is six o'clock ish, and we are about 25k short on the target. But we still have over two hours left, so we're gonna smash it. Might even hit a thousand kilometers. Imagine 12 hours. Twelve hours done. 820 kilometer target. Smashed. Finished on 922. 922 kilometers 933 meters so nearly 923 smash now one pint because that's all i'm fit for um, to my bed over now what a day that was i have aches everywhere my legs hurt my back hurts I'm just i'm actually not as bad as i thought it'd be to be honest i'm not gonna give out about it too much there we just had a rough count of the money and i think we had just over 12k raised for irish cancer society so thank you everyone who joined in helped us did a few k's for us who beeped on the way past with a bit of support who sponsored it who encouraged us and really proud i hope i don't have peanut butter on my lip yeah anyway it was a, a great day for a great cause and really really happy with how it went and there's a little bit emotional towards the end but um it's good really really good for now i am going to i was going to do a bit of an active day and walk and stuff but i want to get some work done there was a lot to catch up on having not really done not done any work yesterday not really done much this week to be honest between the house organizing the event yesterday and, and everything else so i'm going to try and get a bit of work done on the coffee and Kimura's website it's nearly there i'll hopefully get it to like 95 percent finished by this evening and then it's a case of getting the new products out to some of the athletes and getting images done get some photo shoots done and videos as well and upgrading the website from there and then we'll be good to go so in the next couple of weeks we'll be ready to launch as you're watching this it'll probably be next week that's the plan so far just got images from the gi supplier yesterday of the first products coming off the line so they are pretty much ready to go we have as I showed you, our tape ready to go. We got rolls and rolls and rolls of new packaging of leisureware for leisureware. Loads of that in there. The leisureware will be ready this week, so we'll be picking those up. I'm actually gonna try and barcode these maybe today, maybe tomorrow, and have that ready to go so we can pack those up, get them off to the warehouse, and you'll be able to order those then. We're not gonna release, everything's gonna be released along with the new website. So the new website, the new leisureware, the matcha latte range, the new anti-decaf range, of rash guard and shorts, just so you haven't forgotten. And the geese as well, that'll all be released alongside the launch of the new website. So everything's gonna happen at the same time. And then it's off to the races. I'm trying to have a bit of energy, but I'm just so sore. <laughs> oh. And then, Later on this evening, so like 6.30ish this evening, Irish time, Luca Veras will be competing in the Pan Am's Juvenile Blue Belt Heavy Division in 
the new coffee and Camaro's Arabica Gi. They won't be launched along with the new website. It's only going to be the Instant Gi for now, and then we're going to have the Arabica Gi following shortly afterwards. And yeah, hopefully he gets on well. And then tomorrow we've Austin Daffron and Combat Jiu Jitsu in Mexico as well. Next week then, Marcelo Cohen. I don't think I spoke about this, but it was just announced during the week that Marcelo Cohen is competing next weekend. I'm not sure what date. It actually, no, it's two weeks. I think it's the 4th of April against a UFC... I forget his name, but it's on a card with a load of UFC fighters. It's on Fury Grappling. It's headlined by Eric Anders against that guy Racky. What's his what's his first name? Charles Racky, that's it. So Charles Racky and Eric Anders is the headline match on the card. Neil Magny is also on the card against Miguel Baeza, UFC Welterweight. And then Marcelo is competing against Jimmy Flick at 145 pounds. Another UFC fighter, so a lot of UFC attention on that card. So that's really, really cool as well. Yeah, I think Marcelo is going to be wearing his custom Americano, custom gear based on the Americano range. And then tomorrow, Austin Daffron is going to be wearing his completely custom kit, Rash Garden shorts. All happening, all good. Looking forward to the next, the coming weeks, months, and the rest of this year. It's all going well. It's all set up well. All right, I am going to try and let my body recover, try and get some work done, and I shall see you next week. If you supported the charity fundraiser, I really appreciate you. If you didn't, I appreciate you anyway. If you watched this far in the video, I appreciate you. If you have watched this far, leave a sunflower emoji in the comments. Not a sunflower, sunflower, daffodil. Jesus Christ. If you watched this far, drop a daffodil, daff oh my God. You know what I'm saying, right? See you later, bye. Actually, I should have looked back and seen.